President David Granger made a guest appearance at the Burbies High School's graduation and prize-giving ceremony. Shanice Beckles reports. Yesterday, His Excellency David Granger made a guest appearance at the Burbies High School's annual graduation and prize-giving ceremony. The school, which has placed first in the region at the CSEC examination and the fifth in the country, also saw the attendance of the past and present regional education officers of Region 6, Ms. Shafiran Bajan and Ms. Velika Jaikishan, Region 6 Regional Chairman, Mr. David Armagon, Region 6 Regional Executive Officer Kim Williams, among other dignitaries. Head teacher of the school, Ms. Tracy Helliger, performed her mandatory task of delivering the school's report. Mr. Chairman, Albert and Stein posted that all that is valuable in human society depend upon the opportunities for development according to the individual. With the various opportunities available for teachers' development in our country to develop themselves professionally, Teachers are consistently encouraged to upgrade themselves. As a result, three members of staff continue to attend the University of Guyana for this campus. Two are pursuing their diploma in education at the Turkan campus. One of the final year students at the Surfot College of Education Jones campus. Mr. Chairman, I would like to remind the teaching staff that we are in a profession that we can use to bring positive changes into the world on a daily basis. Regional Education Officer Ms. Velika Jaikishan in her address applauded the school for upkeeping their standard. Burbis High School is one of the region's A schools that has 89.85 percentage pass grades 1 to 3 in comparison to the national level. Despite challenges of a full complement of trained teachers and adequate and appropriate materials. Graduates, you ought to be grateful and must express gratitude for these wonderful opportunities you are exposed to. I think the staff and management team of Burbage High School should be acknowledged for their inputs that facilitated success that we all celebrate today. Regional Education Officer Ms. Shafi Ranbajan was tasked with delivering the feature address and made these remarks. The vision was to enhance internal efficiency at the institution, that is, attaining a higher retention rate of students and increasing matriculation output. Six years into the project, Burbies High School's matriculation rate rose incrementally from 82.59% in 2010, depicting a regional third place position, to the committed top position with 86%. And this year, you have heard it. The school has retained its number one position and is a staggering matriculation rate in a 9.52%. And is now competing with the nation's top senior secondary schools in the city, proudly occupying the fifth position. The K results are also impressive indeed. VHS has surpassed the expectation of the educational planners. Regional Chairman Mr. David Armagon encouraged the graduates to keep pushing forward academically. Education today is very important because the world today has no place for uneducated people. Today, everything seems to be driven by technology. Today, if you go to the airport, there are people working with the phones to help you sometimes, most times, if you go to these big countries. You don't know information, technology, you're stuck in the airport. Very shortly, when you go to the banks, if you don't know information, technology, your money will be left with the bank. You can't get it out. This is a system today of the world, and you have to keep up 
with a world that is moving very, very fast. Unless you can keep up with the pace, you will be left back. After five years, you have just turned a corner. You have reached the end of the road. You have just turned an important corner. And I want you to, remove, to remember that today. That corner that you have crossed, that you have turned, is going to lead you up to another road. And at every point in your life, as from now on, your goals are going to be important. Jose Cummins graduated as the best graduating student of 2016 with 13 grade ones, three grade twos, and two grade threes, followed by Vanessa Ramnerain with 15 grade ones, and Rochelle Singh with eight grade ones, three grade twos, and one grade three. Valedictorian Jose Cummins in his address said that it was through hard work and God's mercy that their efforts are recognized and ceremoniously rewarded. Our gratitude is extended to God. Without His guidance and blessings, we would not have been here today, celebrating such a milestone. As Oprah Winfrey once said, what God intended for you goes far beyond anything you can imagine. Mm -hmm. Secondly, on behalf of my fellow graduates, I express indefinite gratitude to our hardworking and loving parents who have encouraged and aided our journey. These past years have presented us with a lot of challenges, and it is good to know that we had our families in our corner supported us along the way. His Excellency then presented the school with a plaque of achievement after the graduates were presented with their certificates of achievement. Jose Cummins for his achievements received the Presidential Award among other gifts and trophies for social studies, food and nutrition, geography and home management. President Granger also addressed the gathering of dignitaries, teachers, parents, students, graduates, invitees and media. Do not procrastinate, do not delay, do not put off for tomorrow, but seize the day and do what you have to do. And that quotation is a very appropriate one for students. Sometimes people leave and they say, what do I in school I can take a light? And they start to idle, they start to look for some low-paying job, just to get some money in their pockets. And 10 years after, they still have some no paying job. 20 years after, they still have some no paying job. Postponing their tertiary education. Postponing their development. So I do hope that as you leave here, you realize that graduating from secondary school is not the end of the road. I think when I was here in September, I told you what Secretary Ban Ki-moon said about the well-known Brazilian athlete, Hussein Bolt. He said Hussein Bolt doesn't stop running after 50 meters. So you too don't stop running. I hope to see you all at the University of Ghana campus when you change your blue gun to green. Mr. Granger encouraged the graduates to stay in Guyana and be a part of their country's development. This country is God's own country, the blessed country. And we have got giants which you cannot find anywhere else on this country. On the continent, in the Caribbean, or in the world. The largest antique in the world. The largest fresh fish in the world are Pima. The largest spider in the world, the largest eagle in the world. And you can go through 20 of the largest animals in the world. And I want you to see those animals. That is why I put money in science. I want you to study botany and zoology and biology and physics and chemistry. I want you to stay here, develop Guyana, build roads, build bridges, help to protect our wildlife. The auspicious ceremony was indeed a memorable one. Shinis Beckles reporting for Channel 8 News.